Learning Switch 180s is important for your snowboard progression. It's very stylish to be able to ride the park or anywhere on the mountain effortlessly linking tricks from your regular stance to switch and back. If you do a trick, land switch, then slide back to your normal stance, that's called reverting. You will never see any competition riders revert in their runs, they actually get points deducted for reverts. Switch frontside 180s are a whole lot easier than you would expect. You have to take off switch, but you get to land going forwards in your normal direction. Like a normal frontside 180, you can see your landing throughout the whole trip. Many people call a switch front one a cab one, but that naming is incorrect. It's only cab if you pop from the nose of your board. A switch frontside 180 can be done from either your heel edge or your toe edge. Most people use the heel edge, but the important aspect is just to have edge grip with the snow to pop your 180 from. Switch backside is the most difficult spin direction for most riders, so instead of skipping it, spend more time practicing. The technique is exactly the same as a back one, but opposite. Set up with a smooth carve on your heel edge, then transition into a light toe edge carve as you ride up the lip of the jump. Flex and extend with your legs, timing with the jump shape to add pop. Look at your landing throughout the switch back 180 and touch down blind using your toe edge to help stop your rotation. As you regain control, you can look forwards into your regular stance. A backside 360 is the combination of a backside 180 with a switch frontside 180 on the end. A frontside 360 is a frontside 180 with a switch backside 180 on the end. If you can do all four 180s on small park jumps with smooth control and some grabs, then you'll be well on your way to stomping your first park jump 360s. You're riding with Nev Lapwood from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your riding.